So it's been 10 years in the making, but we've finally got a brand new Aston Martin Vantage model. The old car is an absolute classic in terms of design, and the new one brings it into the modern day era. And I have to say, it looks incredible, but I've only got one question. Just how good is it? Starting off with the manufacturer colours that come with it and we've actually got quite a good selection right here. Now the first one is this glorious looking red I have to say, kind of like a cherry metallic, looks very very cool indeed. And then we have a more vibrant orange which I'm not a big fan of, I know Alex from Fail Race might like this but not me personally. Now the yellow is interesting, it kind of depends on what sort of light you've got, I mean it's kind of near night time in the game for me right now, it's kind of like early evening, so yeah it's not exactly the brightest but it looks really really good on this in the proper daylight. And then next we have this sort of like faded green slash blue which looks okay, it's a bit out there, and then we have the blue. Now this is going to be the only time you'll ever hear me say this about a blue car but I don't think blue personally really suits it, or should I say this tone of blue, or this highlight of blue, it's a wee bit too dark for me, I don't think it kind of matches the car, so I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the blue on this car, and then we have the black, yeah, this kind of hides a lot of the curves though, I have to say, but I do like the look of it, then we have more of a Spectre, James Bondy silver right there, and then we have the white, but we are going to be going with the cherry red. Now the Aston's price in Forza Horizon 4 is quite steep. I've just noticed this, it's 430 grand. Yeah, they're definitely charging us quite a lot for a car we've wanted for a while, but if you have the car pass, you obviously get it for free. But that is a lot. So it's going to really impress me to match that price. But we'll get to the driving in a little minute because I want to talk about the looks of this thing and my god it looks absolutely gorgeous, I love this thing, one of the sexiest cars Aston Martin has brought out in a long time, that includes the DB11 for me but the DBS Superleggera just kicked that out of the park honestly, cannot wait for that to come into the game if it does but Playgrounds, listen up please, please, but anyway we're here to talk about the Aston Martin Vantage right now. This is probably the most controversial end of the car, it's the front end. Now, the lights are a little bit new MX-5-ish, I have to say. They're really, really small, kind of angled in and everything. But personally, I do like them. Really, really cool. And the most controversial thing is the big Vulcan-esque front grille. I personally love it. I personally love it. But anyway, it's... Obviously personal choice, if you guys don't like it, that's perfectly fine. So anyway, moving on round to the side right now, and we have got an okay set of rims for this car. It's not exactly the choice I would pick. You do get quite a few options in terms of rims for this car in real life, because I've seen a few of Mr. JWW's videos, and yeah, some of them are really, really good. And we'll get onto another thing that this thing doesn't have in a little minute including one right now, and that is the little carbon fibre side grill. Now, it's a really, really cool little touch on this car. If you don't know what it is, it's kind of like the little spade looking thing that kind of... You know the line on the door, you know what I'm talking about essentially. If you know what I mean, you see pictures of this car, but it doesn't have the carbon fibre bit, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, moving on around to the rear end, which is possibly the best thing about this car. That looks so cool in terms of the light and design. I absolutely love it. Now, obviously there's a little bit of mishmash about Fisker and everything. Like, his car kind of looks the exact same, but apparently he designed this, but he get fired from Aston Martin, and Aston Martin basically took this and said, fuck you to Fisker and just kind of copied it. I don't know what happened, but we ended up with this glorious bouté, and I like it. And I like the fact that it says Aston Martin on the back as well. Really, really cool, along with the badge. Now, the one thing that I was talking about that this particular model doesn't have is the quad exhaust. It doesn't have the sport exhaust. That is the normal exhaust, or normal in freaking paraphrases right there, but the cool thing is, this is actually a proper exhaust, not a fake exhaust or anything, this is one right from the freaking engine, which is mental, 
yeah, the rear end is just glorious on this thing. So I said to you in the last video with the Vauxhall Insignia VXR that I'm going to be trying to be a wee bit more harsh on the cars, try to like properly pick out some problems that I don't like. And there's two in here. Now, I love the actual look of the interior, but two things are bugging me. One is the white leather. I'm not... <laughs> I normally love white leather and everything, right? But there's something about it with this car. I don't think actually suits it. It's kind of weird. I mean, some of you guys might like it, but I'd probably prefer like the black with like the the outline colours that you've seen in a few videos and everything along the dash. It's so cool. And then the amount of buttons in here. Just look at this man. We've got tons of buttons on the steering wheel. And look how many are on the freaking dash, but apart from the PRND, which looks fucking amazing, I love that. Obviously, Aston Martin have taken some technology from Mercedes, obviously they have a deal together, and we'll get to another thing about Mercedes in a little minute, but yeah, you can still tell it's like Mercedes technology, which does look good in the car, but I personally think they could have made it a wee bit more minimal. I can't even know how to say that. I can't even say that word. Minimalistic. That is the word I'm trying to say. That just I mean, pays me back for talking too fast. But hey, I'm Scottish. It's in my character. So anyway, I want to hear how this big AMG twin turbo four liter V8 sounds in this thing. So I think you'll agree that sounds absolutely mega, definitely one of the best V8 sounding cars in this game because you have your American V8s and you have your German V8s which do and sometimes sound better than the American V8s but I do love myself some V8 motor man, so good. But anyway, this is the top speed run and apparently, I'm just going to tell you what top speed run you can expect from this thing is 192 miles an hour. So, hopefully we can hit that right now going down the motorway. So let's get the big thing fired up right now. Oh, it's so, so good. And I just remember there's a tunnel right in front of us. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be very fucking good. So I'm gonna shut my mouth and let you guys enjoy this. I'm having a crisis! Again! <laughs> Seriously man, sounds fucking good. So anyway, we're up to 170... Gee, this fucking good up for acceleration, man. Six gear pro on this thing, mental. 190, come on. Come on, 192, 193. There we go, Sunny Jim. We are 194. Can we get 195? Yes, we can! 195, can we get 196? No, we can. I sound like a fucking auctioneer for some reason. Can we get 195? Can we get 196? No, we can. So, 195 miles an hour in this thing. That is very good indeed, especially for a little sports GT right now. Obviously, the older, like, V12 Vantage S to go a bit faster, like 200. But, yeah, this is all the V8 variant. Maybe we might get a V12, but I don't know. Crashing into a Fiat. Sorry! Sorry my little Italian brother right there. Fucking hell. Alrighty then, on to the handling slash drifting test and you know what road I have pulled into if you've been watching this series for quite some time now on Horizon 4. It is one of the best roads in this game and I thought since it's a small British sports car we should definitely give it a go on this road since it is quite narrow. Little fear, I'm not going to hit you again. I'm going to get out of your way now. I immediately noticed the grip in this thing I'm in this corner here. Fourth gear. It's just wanting grip. Grip and grip and grip. Because the old Vantage, especially the V12 one, was a drift king. I absolutely loved that in Older Horizons. And I like it in this game as well. But obviously, in my opinion, this looks a lot better than that car. God. I love this man, it's great to drive somewhat realistically, you know what I mean, keeping on like the left side of the road and everything, I was going to say the right side of the road but you get what I mean, like, <laughs> your right side of the road might be 
my wrong side of the road. I mean, if you live in America, obviously you know what I'm talking about. But anywho, doing these wee bits right here, the little hills and stuff, it is cracking. Absolutely cracking. Fucking release, release the cracking. That's what I'm trying to do with this thing, man. So good. It's surprisingly not skittish, if you know what I mean, because it has quite a short wheelbase. And normally, short wheelbase cars are quite skittish because they are so agile and everything. For example, Lancia Stratos. That's very skittish. Oh god. Now, the one thing you might have noticed, they've actually patched in some traffic again. I do like that, and at the same time, I don't like it because I like it for like high manoeuvring driving and everything like that. Like, if you're going blasting down a motorway and everything, you like dodge out the way of traffic, find it very, very exciting, but in some cases when you're trying to drift around Edinburgh and there's that one car on the corner that you're getting like a hundred thousand combo on and then you have to fuck it all up. Yeah, not exactly happy about that, that happened to me the other night, but anywho, we're talking about the Aston Martin Vantage, not the fucking AI fucking traffic, but it is good, we're going to give it a little bit of fling. Oh, she can, she can still slide when you Bring my sexy Stuart Griffin voice out there. Yes, you can still slide, mother. You can still slide into my DMs. <laughs> oh God. Ooh yes. Why is it like? I, I'm not complaining, but why is there so many fiats in the road now, man? Seriously. Fucking hypocritical bastard. I want a freaking Fiat 500 bar for my first car. I'm complaining when they're in the wrong areas, but <laughs> you get what I mean. God, it's so smooth. It's such a smooth car to drift by, you just kick the clutch, kick the handbrake, and you are fucking gone. Oh yes, please, down the third gear. Get the power on. I think this is actually got a bit too much grip. I think it's the tyre wind at the rear, it's like, I think it's too wide. Because it's just running straight up again. That's what I love about cars like the F-Type and just like other sports GT cars. You can just fling them around, man, and just get them sideways with relative ease and it won't really actually like scare you or anything, it just only really wants to do it. It's a gentlemanly way to get sideways if you know what I mean. You can go for 200 SXs or something like that, but me, I do like them cars and everything, I'll stick with my Drag F type with my Aston Martin Vantage. Yes please, I, I know they're a lot more expensive than 200 SXs but yeah, I'll definitely stick with them. I mean, I love Japanese cars, but I also love British cars. So yes, I think this thing is mentally good for getting sideways. So then, it is now time for the Scottish measurement board to come back out. And <laughs> I know I said I was going to be more critical about the cars, but it's a fucking Aston Martin Vantage that we've been waiting on for ages. They've got it down to the T in terms of handling and I'm a sports GT guy, it's my favourite category of car so I've got to give it straight off the bat a full belter yes it is a belter man, it is such a good car on the handling, now comparing it to something like a, a Porsche 911 or something like that obviously this is front engine, that car is rear engine I think the Porsche might have it in terms of position but this has it on the fun for me. I love it. It's got so much character this car and we are going to be giving it a belter rating. Now moving on to the build of the thing. Now we have not done a drift build in quite some time have we? So I am going to be doing that with this car because as you've seen it is a hoot to get sideways but we're going to be painting this thing a very controversial colour because it's going to be the launch green and this is it right here. I absolutely adore the way this thing looks. I've also, thanks to the new painting options, been able to add a little green lip around the rims but obviously we'll be changing them and I've already got a good set in mind. Now the one thing that I do like about it in this game is that it doesn't paint the diffuser green. That's the one thing that kind of put me off this colour at first reaction in real life, but then I've seen a few cars like this with the unpainted diffuser and I absolutely fell in love. So hopefully not a lot of people have went for this. Right then, so in terms of the engines, we obviously have the 4 litre twin turbocharged AMG V8. You can also change in the, I believe the Huracan 5.2 litre V10. 
We have the 5.2 litre V12 twin turbo, which I don't know that's where that's from. Maybe another Aston Martin, but I doubt it. I'm not too sure. And then we have the racing V12, which is mental. But we will not be changing any of the engines. And then obviously we can change it to all wheel drive. But why would you do that on a drift build? Honestly, go old school. Go the Jap way. Go the Jap way. That's all I have to say. Old school drifting is the best. None of this all wheel drive shit. I mean, if you do drift all wheel drive, then each to their own, that's perfectly fine, but me personally, I prefer rear wheel drive, so what will we have right here? That is questionable. Yeah, it looks like it's got a big tongue now, <laughs> or a little freaking tooth ring, if that's even a thing. No, it isn't. You can't put a fucking... Is that even happening? Like, is someone pierced through a bone to get a freaking ring in or something? That, that'd be disgusting. Disgusting! <laughs> it was fucking one of his. Disgusting! <laughs> I fucking love that. Me and, my, me and my pals at work, we always fucking quote that. Disgusting! But anyway, apart from that, uh, I am actually going to be keeping it on the, the I believe, the stock tyres. But they definitely look like streets or sports because they are grippy as fuck. They really are, so we'll be leaving that. And then 255s in the front, and then 295s. Right, I'm not going to go mental with this. I'm just going to leave it on 295s and then bump up the power because I don't want to freaking be halfway through a corner and it grips up. Now, it does have spacers. That's good. That is very good. I like that. Let's bring it all the way out right now. And then, <laughs> wrong button, Frank. We're going to go on to this one. Look how cool that looks! That is so freaking cool! I love these options and we are going to be getting the option to paint our brake calipers in the future. Thank you Playground Games! This is the sort of shit we want, not a 650S Spider, which you can't take the roof down. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. And <coughs> Zonda Trinkway Roadster, that's all I'm saying as well. But anyway, these are the rims that I am going for. The 1552 Forge DPC Formula TRs. They look great on this thing. I think since the car is more rounded and everything, this is a more rounded sort of circular rim and everything, I think it looks great. So let's go for these. And then I think we'll be bumping up the size as well. We're on 20s right now, but it still gets some meaty, meaty, meaty tyre around it. We're going to be having that since it's 285 on each. We're going to be freaking putting them on like that. That looks good. That looks really good. I like it. I like it a lot. So moving on to the drivetrain. And we're putting everything in race like we normally do. And then into the platform and handling. Now, hopefully, yes. Yes, it changes the brake color. <laughs> that looks so much better with the red. Oh, mummy, looking very good. And what are we going to get in terms of suspension? Sports are right. Race is okay. Rally is just mental. And oh my god. Oh, in the words of Mr. AOHD, big pee pee. Big pee pee. Very, very big pee pee. Me like it like that. I really, really do. I mean, if you've not checked out Aero's Twitch channel, then definitely go and check him out, man. He's an absolute legend. And. A good friend of mine, definitely a good friend of mine, so anyway, go away Forza Fawn, I don't want to do that, I'm in the middle of building an absolute glorious machine right now, let's see what it takes us down from, £3,477, to what that is, quite significant difference, and apologies if I seem quite hyperactive in this one, one, I've just come back from work, and two, I've had a coffee and a Red Bull. Yeah, probably not the best decision, but maybe it's good for you guys that like watching this. I mean, I normally a lot more camera than this and a lot more serious, but it's a car that I've wanted for ages, so forgive me. Forgive me. I'm not. I'm normally a lot more mature than this, but can you blame me? Can you fucking blame me, laddie? Can you fucking blame me? Now, oh shit. I can tell if you actually apply the thing, Frankie boy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Camshaft, that takes up to 613 horsepower. I want to go 700 with this thing, man. I want to see what it's like. I'm not going to go full mad in terms of like, but I think this is all the engine it really is capable with. 
Whoa! <laughs> Shall we go for that? Six, six, six horsepower. I know all Americans will think I'm saying sex, 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 but for the last fucking time, it is the number six. Not sex, six. Are we clear? Thank you. Thank you very much. But anyway, that is what we're going to do. The Devil's Aston. <laughs> yes, please. That looks so fucking good, man. Oh, <laughs> that's all I can say. So let's install that right now. And the only thing I'm really going to do is put some window tint on there. And there we go. Looking very, very good indeed. I just love the way these wheels look and everything. The color coded roof with the mirrors. Oh, it's such a good looking car. I mean, it looks very Hot Wheels esque. I have to say, with these wheels. Very, very Hot Wheels esque. So please do let us know down in the comments below what you make of the car. I know it's a bit out there for me. I'm not normally this sort of guy that likes to freaking go mental in terms of like colours and everything. I, like, I normally like more sedate colours, but this is just peachy. Very, very peachy. So let's head on outside and see how it fares. Oh, I might have had another crisis again. Oh, that looks so good in the sunlight. I don't know if it's coming through the video as much as it is on my TV screen, but my golly gosh, very, very sexy. So anyway, we're here in Edinburgh and I'm going to be taking you around a section or like a circuit that yet again bring up Aero. Me and him were doing a couple of nights ago in his live stream. Very good section. Yet again credit goes to him. I never found this so yeah. First thing though, we head into the tuning and lower it a wee bit more. Now I have became a wee bit more sort of, what do you call it, uh, informed with the tuning and everything, how to kind of like make a more comfortable drift car for myself. So what I like to really do is stiffen up the anti roll bars and everything like that. Kind of leave the front ones kind of stockish, but kind of stiffen up the rear. The springs, it's actually at the lowest it can go, right? Okay. Don't really like to fiddle around with the springs that much, but the way this car is feeling right now in stock form, it's actually pretty damn good. But the bump stiffness is what I fuck around with now. I can't believe I haven't found this feature before. I didn't, or I didn't fuck around with this feature before. Because it's probably the most revolutionary, I can't even say that word. Tongue, work, English please. Revolutionary of them all. Because when you go over like bumps and shit, as the name says, it can cope with that a lot better. So that's my setup done. And let's get to it right now. I'm in reverse, going to first gear, you fucking idiot. But anyway, get going. Oh, immediately, immediately just want to kick out. So I'm going to focus a little bit more, guys, try and actually showcase the car at the best of its abilities. The third gear is actually pretty bang on. Pretty bang on for this section, man. Some sections uh, in this little circuit are quite high speed. Like the start there and everything, but you whack a you whack, <laughs> you whack around, you whack around, you whack around. His dress, whack, his car, whack, but me, I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> Fucking love that guy. Uh, yeah, um, oh my god, man, actually, it pulls, it pulls, it fucking pulls, it really does. It pulls like freaking Chris Hemsworth at a bar. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. The amount of fucking lassies he must pick up, man, and he goes out, Jesus Christ. That is bloody mental. Absolutely bloody mental. And I bet you I'm the only person on YouTube that's ever met, that ever made that fucking comparison. Yes, the Aston Martin Vantage can pull even better than fucking Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> yeah, I am liking this. I am liking this third and fourth gear are uh, sweet. Very, very sweet. Too sweet. Fucking very poppin' shit. I like it. I really, really do. God. Wow, 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 wow. It's very, very rare these days that you get a car and you can just tweak up and everything, do up and stuff like that. Ah, oh my god, that fucking scared the living shit out of me. I just see a bumper can at me. That is a nice R8, man. I like that colour. Oh, I do like you, like you. Creep. <laughs> Please kill our DK. Yes, you get extra brownie points from me, mate. How day watch your fucking cell boy? Watch your cell boy. Oh, take the telephone. Yes. 
Lady Gaga will not be pleased. There we go. Go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. And then I think what we'll do now is head over to the old town because I have got a good section on circuit yet again that I'd like to say I've found. You know what I mean? I've already found one up here, but it's kind of like a longer version of that. So good. It's so good. See if you've not bloody built this thing yet, guys. Get on Forza Horizon 4 after this video and just fucking win this thing, man. I mean, my Scottish side's coming out. I mean, that just shows you how much I love this game. The guys at work and everything, they've obviously watched a few of my videos and like that. I've not actually speak a lot clearer on your videos and everything. I mean, I never used to. Like, I used to be properly, like, proper Scottish and shit and properly not pronounce my shit that well, but now since I've kind of got, like, a bigger audience and that and over, like, 100,000 subscribers, I'm like, yeah, I better clear things up a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this is the little section right here. It is quite good, actually. I like it. It's like a little... It's like a figure eight, you know what I mean? Kind of. If the eight's a bit wonky, I have to say. So there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And what we do is maybe a little bit of an Ebizu jump down here, if we can. We can get a little bit of air, but not too much. And then, down this way, maybe change it to second for this. Do it, man. I mean... I think Aero was right, man. Fucking street tires or uh, street tires are on this thing. Are the fucking way to go in Horizon 4? No, my bloody. Ah, oh, why? This is the thing why I don't like the new fucking patch of traffic. I was going so good there until Mr. Fucking Taxi get in the way. I want to try that again. Right, take number two of that. So we're gonna end. Hopefully, there's no cars there. Oh, what is that? The Prius is upgraded. Oh, I like that car. Very, very nice. So yeah, that's kind of like a little sum up of that section right there. I'm going to do it again, just so you can see it a wee bit clearer. You know what I mean? You can obviously run it in both directions and shit. But this, I prefer it this way. Oh, it's a big coon into that corner. Yes! Sonny boy. I like it, I like it. I like it, I like it. How many times have I said that before I do it? Apology. I must come over as like the biggest Cardi B fan, but I only like one or two of her songs. Hey! Missing the beat at that time. Are we changing the four for this? Yes, that's a good idea. Oh, this is so much better this one, I think. Thank you, Pagani, for knocking down a fucking sign or a lamppost. Yeet! Oh, there we go! <laughs> So good! So good, I'm so proud it's in Edinburgh as well, man. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding? Right, okay, Mr. Taxi, are you trolling me, mate? Are you actual trolling me? Get the fucking way. Yeah, quick. Get out the way. No him in the golf, I'm talking about the taxi. I don't know who the hell he is in the golf, but yeah, to end it off, let's do a little bit of a drift down Coburn Street. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Hey, but it happens. Oh god. Oh, let's see if we can link this round. Have I just come across a new little section? Have I? Have I really? I'm not too sure. Oh yes, I have. Oh yes, I fucking have, boys. Oh, little Fiat, sorry. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, Aero. Where you at, Aero? Me and you need to go on here. We really do, it's like a little section, a little circuit. Oh yes. Oh, this has fun written all over it. <laughs> Have I not found this section already, man? This is fucking class. Anyway, before I get too distracted, let's go on to the final conclusion. My fucking god, that was fun. Crikey. It's the Scottish Rosers, or the Polis, as they're called here. Not the police, it's the Polis. Yeah, Americans take note. So anyway, the Scottish Measurement Board. Drop back down, please. Thank you very much. There it is. And it is time to rate this thing. You know what it is already. A belter. It is one of the best cars to come into Forza in a very long time, as I'm sure you can tell with my excitement. It is so good. 
so freaking good. It's one of these cars that you can build for basically any occasion. I'm sure you can build this thing to be a cracking race car. I'm sure you can build it to be a surprisingly good rally car because it looked like it had decent freaking ground clearance and you could put it in all wheel drive and shit. But for me, the drift spec is absolutely bellissimo and he's doing fine police work right there. Blocking traffic for the drifters. That is, that is an amazing work there. But yep, I feel better guys. Get this fucking thing right now, man. Thank you, Playground. This is what you call a good choice of car. Not the freaking 650S Spider. Please listen. 675LT next time, please. I'm not I'm not trying to sound patronizing or anything like that, but the community's kind of been asking for the 6 and 5 LT for a while. Before we go, I want to give a massive thank you to these people on screen right now. These people support me on Patreon, and if you'd like to see the channel grow and just genuinely help me out and get me one step further to doing this full time, then you can donate literally any amount of money to my Patreon link in the description below. And unlike some other people, the donations you guys give will be going towards the channel, meaning better equipment, better video editing software, etc, etc. It would be greatly appreciated. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did then a wee like is always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and also if you want to get in touch with me outside of YouTube then my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram links are in the description below. But for now guys, take care and have yourself a fabulous day.